every time, no matter where I am in this house that I'm filming a video, Theo is right next to me every time. So if you hear little like <laughs> noises, it's Theo. You want to film a video? Can you say, what's going on YouTube? No, 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 don't jump off there. Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm gonna do all my intros going forward. Roll sleeves. So if you're new here, Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today we're filming another Get Ready With Me in Natural Light. So if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen these videos, I like to film these every so often on Sundays where I open up all my windows. So I have three large windows in front of me and I film myself doing my makeup. I love studio lighting. I feel like I have to put this disclaimer out there every time. I think it's so fun to be able to control the lighting to really be able to see the makeup when you're doing something like an up close eyeshadow tutorial. But chances are you're not walking around with a studio light in front of you and to your sides in your regular everyday life. So makeup does look quite a bit different. Think about like the movies and actresses and actors. When they're on screen, their makeup is a lot heavier. I always think back to the Scott Barnes Tati Snatural video. If you watch that video and actually listen to him, he talks about how he does her makeup for studio lighting. And if you see her walking around in real life, it might be a little bit like, whoa, that's a lot of makeup. And that's really how it is. You do have to apply makeup with a heavier hand when you have lights in front of you or you're on stage or something like that. So a lot of times when we're watching people on YouTube do their makeup, they're probably applying it a little bit heavier so you can actually see it on camera, on screen. But in real life, that often looks way too heavy, in my opinion. And then we have YouTube that's like teaching people how to do this stuff. And it's just a little bit confusing. So I like to do these videos every so often so you could see what my makeup looks like in everyday life. I am a natural makeup kind of girl. Yes, I love a strong eyeshadow, you know, bright color every so often. But I always try to take a little bit more of a natural approach to it. So with all of that said and done, we're going to go ahead and do a full face of drugstore makeup in natural light. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so welcome to my skin, up close and personal, no studio lights, just natural light. As you can see, my skin is far from perfect. I have redness, I have a couple of breakouts from traveling. I have some texture up here, which I think might be from some hair products I've been using. I'm trying to figure out what's going on there, but I just wanna show you guys that YouTubers are humans as well. I know there are some beautiful YouTubers out there who have like some of the most beautiful skin. They're probably getting a lot of treatments for that, but things look quite a bit different in natural light. So if you thought I had perfect skin in my studio lighting, I don't, this is what it looks like. So I also wanna mention I live off of busy streets, so you're gonna hear some cars. I got a microphone, which I think helps a lot with my sound in my videos, but you're gonna hear some cars from time to time and you know, George might bark at some dogs walking in front of the windows. He is sitting right there. He's like the neighborhood watch over here. So let's go ahead and get this started. I am gonna start off with my NYX High Glass Face Primer. Really, really like this stuff. You guys have seen me use it before. I use Moonbeam and I'm just gonna take about that much and work it all over the skin. Okay, so you can really see the pearl kind of come through in natural light. When I first tried this, I did it in studio lighting and I was looking in my mirror and I was looking in the viewfinder and I was like, okay, where is the like reflect in this? This is a high glass primer, but it was because I had my studio lighting. It was just diffusing it. So I love testing products in natural light. You can really see it. So when you're getting ready in the morning, I highly recommend sitting in front of a window Diffused light is the best like right now. There's no clouds in the sky So I think the lighting is gonna kind of change throughout the video as the Sun comes out and then goes away and comes out and goes away But if it's an overcast day try testing your products in that lighting You will really see kind of how they work in that lighting better. Oh my god I thought I wasn't recording and I almost had a heart attack next up We're gonna go in with foundation and concealer. So I'm using my physician's formula the healthy foundation I use LN3 when I have no self tan on and then I'm gonna go in with my elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish 
I have both light beige and fair warm. Fair warm is the lighter of the two and I only use a dot of fair warm when I have no tan on, but light beige is what I'll mainly use. You guys know I don't go in with a ton of concealer or foundation as it is. Yes, they are discontinuing this foundation, unfortunately. I'm still hopeful that they're gonna relaunch it at some point because this is one of my favorite foundations. But the reason I've been using it lately is because you can still find it online and I want you guys to pick this foundation up if you can. It's seriously one of my favorites. It has SPF 20. By the way, I'm going out with some friends today for lunch dinner what do you guys call lunch dinner dunch or liner those are probably not even words but um i just want to have a little bit of something with spf since we will be outside we might be walking around a little bit as well but oh my goodness the shade match of this is perfect and the finish is perfect i just absolutely love it so if you can get your hands on it get your hands on it i think walgreens still has some online you can ship to store at walgreens that's what i did i stocked up because Oh, I just love this foundation so much. I actually think that's too much concealer. I kind of got a little concealer happy in there, so I'm gonna press and just remove a little bit. I am not a apply concealer all over to my under eyes type of girl. It just doesn't work out for me. I need like minimal product, maximum coverage. So this concealer works really well for me. There's another concealer I have been at absolutely obsessed with which i will talk to you guys in a video a dedicated video coming soon so definitely subscribe if you are in the market for a new concealer because boy do i have something good coming but this works really well and it's like six or eight dollars from the drugstore really good stuff i just did a full face of elf cosmetics and i thought the outcome of that video was really pretty there were some products i liked there were some products i didn't like so much but definitely check that video out if you are interested in some good elf products all right so that is the foundation in the concealer natural coverage you can still see some imperfections coming through but i really really like this combo i think it works really well and the color is just perfect for my skin so i'm gonna go in and try something a little bit different since i haven't used this for a while this is the maybelline fit me stick in 330 and i used to use this as like a bronzer contour like when I started YouTube three years ago and I haven't used it in a while I've repurchased it since because I always want to have some kind of like stick bronzer on hand so I'm gonna give this a try I don't contour so much <laughs> these days so I'm gonna add it right here which is a little bit higher than where like my cheekbone kind of sinks in and I'm gonna blend this out this formula blends so well I've always loved it and I'm gonna kind of use this as like my bronzer today. I do have another bronzer to add on top of it. It's just been a while since I've tried something like this and I wanna try it again. So I don't know if I wanna take my Sigma F80 or my sponge to blend this out, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the brush so I can kind of pull it up. This is working pretty well. I think I'll go ahead and do this and then I'll just blend over with my AOA Studio Pawpaw Sponge. Yeah, this is working well. Definitely take your bronzer contour right into the hairline. Yeah, if you have blonde hair, it's gonna stain the hair a little bit, but it looks a lot better than having like a patch of your like foundation or whatever your natural skin tone is like shine through right there. That's not a cute look. That worked really, really well. I'm gonna have to bring that out again because that just makes life so much easier. I am gonna add just a touch of bronzer over that, but that looks so natural and so pretty. I love that stick. So you guys can see right here, I do have some like healing breakouts. I don't even conceal my breakouts, at least lately I haven't been. If I had like an event, I might do that, but I just feel like throughout the day, you know, the pimple kind of starts to come through or the concealer breaks down and looks kind of cakey. So I, I've just been kind of rocking it. You could always take like a brown eyeliner and just kind of turn it into a freckle if you wanted to. But yeah, I've just been kind of letting them do their thing. Like people get breakouts. It's we all get it, we're humans. I mean, I guess not everybody gets them, but I'm sure everybody has had a breakout in their life and it's not something that we need to constantly hide away. Like 
just rock it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It in 01. This is my Real Techniques brush. They don't have names on it, but I'm sure you guys have seen this and you'll see something like it if you wanted it at the store. I've been kind of liking using this again. It's been a while, uh, but I took it on a recent trip with me and I've been enjoying it. So I'm just gonna lightly add a little bit of this. And at this point in my videos, my hair usually gets quite frizzy from like really working this into the hairline, but you know, whatever it takes to make everything look seamless, right? All right, so as for blush, we're gonna go in with Burt's Bees Bare Peach. Beautiful, beautiful blush formula. It kind of has a little bit of like a healthy sheen to it. Really nice and pigmented. I need to pick up more of these because they're just stunning. Sometimes I wonder if my neighbors can hear me when I'm filming because my hallway is literally right there and if they're like who is this girl talking to what in the heck is she doing all right so as for brows you guys know this is my new brow love this is the elf wow brow in neutral brown if you love a good feathery brow like a nikki makeup type of brow pick this up it is four dollars i'm pretty sure it has fibers in it from what i can see but the spoolie is the absolute perfect size it doesn't make a mess if you have like enough brow hair, this is all you need. This is all I've been doing. I haven't been filling in my brows at all because this really does it for me. It's just beautiful. And it takes like, I don't know, two seconds to get on. So if you don't wanna fiddle with your brows, let me tell you, you need this in your life. I mean, come on, come on. You guys, I cannot tell you how badly you need this it is just it makes me so happy when i put it on it like blows me away let's go in with highlight this is the catrice amon highlight palette i'm gonna go in with a mixture of the top two whistler and victoria these two right here and i'm just gonna use this bretman rock brush this is really pretty it's from wet and wild he like collaborated with wet and wild i'm just gonna add a little bit of this and i'm gonna add it where the sun is naturally reflecting on my face so that's right here this is another reason natural light is so good you can really see where you should be placing your highlighter it's very easy to just follow what people do on youtube but everybody's face shape is different and it looks so much more flattering when you highlight where your face naturally reflects highlight you know what i mean like I have a little bit of reflection there. I have a little bit of reflection there. Like it goes all the way down to my cheeks. I have a little bit here. So just sit in front of a window, hold a mirror and just kind of move your face like that and see where your face naturally reflects light and it will look so much more flattering. Lots of people on YouTube just do like that C shape and they really heavily like apply it like that, which looks pretty on camera, <laughs> but Again, when you step into natural light, that can look quite harsh. Yes, girl. You go, girl. And then at the end of that, I always press it right into the skin with my damp sponge to make sure once again it all looks like it's coming from within rather than sitting on top of the skin so since we're done with the base i'm going to go ahead and spray a couple of spritzes of the nyx bear with me prime set refresh again this just kind of makes the makeup look like it's one with the skin rather than sitting on top of it i am very much almost done with this and i will be repurchasing it so I'm not gonna do anything as far as eyeshadow today, but I am gonna add a little bit of my Alter Ego Eyeshadow Primer. This is just gonna stop any creasing throughout the day. I do have hooded eyes and they are very creasy, so I need to do something to prevent that. I like doing an eyeshadow primer and then kind of setting that with a powder, uh, but you could do whatever works for you. You could always just take your bronzer and throw that all over the lid. I do that a lot of the time as well, but this Alter Ego Primer is really nice. I'm going to use it in a video soon so you guys can see. I love how when you blend it away, it blends into nothing. Tinted primers to me are not my favorite typically. I guess it kind of depends on the look, like if I need a tinted primer, but I just really like how this blends out. It feels really nice and it really does help with any kind of caking issues. So to set that, I'm just gonna take my J-Cat Aqua Assurance Foundation. This is just a skin tone powder. You could use whatever you have. I'm not going in with a ton of product here. I just want enough so everything sets down. 
just like that. I'm gonna take a little more of the highlight and I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. When I don't do any kind of eyeshadow, I always pop a highlight right in the inner corner just to kind of bring some life and make myself look a little more awake. Whoa, my stomach is hungry. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Snapscara. You guys know how much I love this. This and the Thrive Cosmetics liquid lash extensions are like the only mascaras I use, but this is in the shade Black Cherry, so it's got a little bit of like a deep purple kind of look to it. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera. I hope you will be, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera because mascara just takes way too long. This is just kind of a fun way to add something into a makeup look when you're not doing anything else like eyeshadow or anything like that. So I'll let you know how this looks in a second. Mascara is done. I don't like this formula as much as I like the black and the brown version. I feel like my lashes look heavy. They look spidery. They look clumpy. Something about that color is not doing it for me. I don't know what it is. Do you guys have that issue with black cherry as well? I don't think I'll be reaching for that again. I would have much rather have gone in with black. I also took my hair down. So let's go ahead and do these lips. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in Totally Toffee. And I'm going to just line lightly i don't know what it is with mechanical liners but i can never ever get a sharp line so i feel like it always starts looking messy but lipstick will fix that so i'm going to go in with my believe beauty satin crush lipstick in soft rose this is one of my favorites and then with a sigma e56 lid shader brush i'll just kind of you know melt the liner together and go ahead and say it with me. We're going to go ahead and add the L'Oreal Glowing Lip Gloss on top of it. This is in the shade Shall We Dance. I have a pink one in See You Soon that I can't find. I don't know what I did with it, but this will work for now. See You Soon is just a little more pink, which I think would complement this, but this works just fine. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look of my drugstore natural makeup in natural light. I love this. I think it's so pretty. It's so comfortable. It's lightweight. It lasts all day. If you needed to add a powder, you could totally do that. I just don't. When I add powders, they end up looking a lot cakier throughout the day, but do whatever works for you. Please always take everything I say with a grain of salt. What anybody says on YouTube, take with a grain of salt. We've already talked about the natural light and how things look, but also think about what works for your skin before you buy it. Something that works for me might might look horrific on you and vice versa always think about okay that person's using a very dewy foundation if you have oily skin is that going to work for you that person's using a really matte foundation that looks fantastic on them but you have dry skin will that work for you keep all of that stuff in mind before purchasing because i know you guys work hard for your money and i don't want you guys wasting any kind of dollars on my account so that is it for this one you guys i hope you found this somewhat fun or educational or just had a good time getting ready with me i love sitting here on sundays and doing this it's just like a breath of fresh air for me i love makeup i know you guys love makeup so it's like we're sitting here together in my living room just kind of getting ready together so thanks so much for watching if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me please subscribe it means the absolute world to me. Also give me a follow on Instagram. I will always let you guys know on there when I post a new video because sometimes YouTube lets you know and sometimes it doesn't. So thanks again and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.